Hello, hello, everybody. Bruce Jones here, and welcome to a Friday afternoon. And it's still kind of uh, cloudy and gray here on the East Coast, but um, you know, hopefully, spring is coming soon. So this is a another question and answer show, and um, I have a whole series of questions that I am going to uh, run through and sort of give you my insights on them. And let's just make sure everything is up and going we have the new facebook i don't know whether you have uh, it has rolled out to your area yet but um oh yeah there it is okay very cool and um so it has a new look to it let me uh looks like this looks like this and uh so they're putting this stuff over here on the side i don't know if i can get rid of this or not i haven't learned all the parts of it yet but um Oh, that's on that side. So it's it's a little cleaner, I guess that's the look of it. So it's a little clean, a little different. Most of it's still the same, but um, this is the inside. I have a group to so get all this kind of stuff over here. So, all right. So let's get into it. If you have a question, just drop it in the um, the chat right down here, and I'll, I'll try to get to it. I've got a good chunk of questions today that came in. So where I'm getting these questions from, is when you set up a Facebook group, and I really recommend people to to put together a Facebook group um, as around your topic. It's a great way to get um, build a community and find out what people want, and to and to you know show your products and what you have, and um, just get a good feel for your market. Um, you can add three questions that people. You probably most of you have done this. You have to fill out the three questions and. Um, so to get in. So that is a great source of information about what people are looking for in your group. So I'm really just going down through the questions. You know, it's like, uh, there's a bunch of people that um, want to join the group. I just sort of delayed a little bit so they pile up so I have some good content. It makes great content um, to um, use to do a Q&A like this. So you really can answer questions that people are really wanting to know. So, so also make sure you um, fill in, you know, if there's a, uh, there's a, Hit the like button if you're on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. The, those buttons really help with getting the shows out, getting them spread around, having Facebook see them. Um, so it's a great, uh, it's, it's a cool thing to do. And they're just, you know, they're like below there. Oops. And you can share also. Hit that share button and share it as many places as you can. Uh, if you're on on YouTube, you know, put it on Pinterest. Put it on. Um, you know, other places put in your blog. So all that kind of stuff is uh, is cool to do. And, and any questions you have while I'm doing this, I will try to answer. All right. So let's dive in. Let me uh, move this one. Let's go to our first one. The first one is the big question. I get this question a lot, which is how to publish your book. Um, oh, no, it's right here. This one. How to publish or market my book. So too big to go into on in this. But what I'm going to do is just show you if you have put most of this information up. And um, if you go to publishing, publishing uh, secretsbook.com, which is at the top of the uh, Facebook page, and it will be in the description below, um, you will see this page. And uh, what I did is I did an hour long video, kind of an overview of the publishing process, key questions, key things how to do it, all that kind of stuff, and put it into the video that's at the top of this page. You can see right here, it'll go and, and, uh, and, Bruce Jones here, and, welcome, and, welcome. and it's based out of, out of my book, The Publishing, uh, Self-Publishing Secrets, which is available on this page. So you can pick that up. Oh, that's a terrible place to stop. Let's just do it. there. Okay. That's better. Um, so you can pick up this book. This goes through everything that's in that video. It's the it's my sort of manual. Notice I've got lots of notes in here. I'm always working on new ones. So it's a PDF book. Uh, I also have in here. You can pick up the book. You can pick up um, the self publishing book launch. This comes as included with this. So it's a pretty good deal. It's only uh, five dollars. Five dollars. And it's got a plus, so you can pay what you want to pay a little more. That's cool. Um, so it comes with this book, the self-publishing checklist. It comes with the um, the launch cal calendar, and also I just put this in secret bonus. I haven't fixed the copy yet, but my publishing secrets checklist. Put that in front of the camera. Is uh, is in here? So uh, that's all in this. So. I may refer people back to this spot. It's just the easiest way to get this information. And I cover soup to nuts, everything in here, resources, um, you know, Kindle, hardcover, 
different places to put your book. Um, there's all kinds of uh, things like this, you know, how to set up your cover, all that kind of stuff. Is in there. So, all right. So that's the easiest answer to that question because that's a huge question, and I get that one all the time. All right, let's come back over here. And uh, question number two is where to go to publish your book. So this is a great question. Most of us in this group, um, the self-publishing group, so and most people are going to Amazon. So that's the main place to go. Uh, we have a couple questions related to this. And so that's the main, um, let's see, you have a, hey, Tina's here from Australia. I love it. We have the, hi, Tina, thank you for joining. And uh Hope you're doing fine down there. This is like 15,000 miles away. So that's pretty cool. That's very great. Great. Thank you for, for coming in. Um, so the main place that most people are going to publish their book is going to be on Amazon. And you're going to do it either as a paperback book or you can do it as an ebook. Or I recommend do both. Once you have one, you're pretty close to the other one. So uh, Amazon is going to be number one. Um, Kindles are sold around the world. Uh, paperback books are sold most places. Um, you know, I sell books in England. I sell books in Australia, where Tina is. I sell books in Canada. Um, so it's the place to go. It's a trusted platform. Um, they, they they handle everything. You just upload your book to Kindle to the KDP site. They do a little processing and they push it onto Amazon. It's uh, you own complete rights to it. Um, you can price it however you want to. You can do whatever you want. They pay the money on a monthly basis. Usually, I think it's a 60-day lag, and uh, it's a great place to be. Other places that are cool, Lulu.com. If you're doing, uh, this is also a print-on-demand site. They have a variety of covers. So you want a hardcover, you want a spiral, you want a saddle stitch. That's the one with the staple. Um, that's a place to go. Um, uh, Blurb.com, if you're doing a picture book or a... Uh, a photo book or something like that that's um, you know kind of fancy. They also have the horizontal format. Blurb does. Um, it's very high quality. They're not too – it's free to publish, but the books are a little more expensive because the quality is so much better. Um, Barnes & Noble Press is another one. It's also print on demand, just like Amazon. Um, they have a hardcover option. It's pretty good. They don't have as many sizes, but they're adding more um, as Amazon. But – they have all the standard regular sizes. And um, so that's also a great place to be. And then you're in the Barnes & Noble um, print-on-demand uh, side of things. It doesn't put you in the store. I think if you had enough sales, they do. But it doesn't uh, put you in the store. But that's also. So we have Amazon. We have Lulu. We have Blurb. We have Barnes & Noble. Um, if you want to be in bookstores, Ingram is the place to be. Um, Ingram Spark, they distribute worldwide. You have 39,000 dealers around the world. You can put your book in paperback, hardcover, ebook. They have very good ebook distribution and they distribute to Amazon also. So, um, so those are all the kinds of places. All of these places have relationships with Amazon. Um, so you can kind of look at that, but that's uh, where you go. The key thing of all this has been great is they don't take any rights from you. You contain, you retain your rights. So you will be published and you retain, you retain your rights. So you can do multiple things with that copy. That's key. A regular publisher um, is going to control your rights, your content while you're under their contract with all the print on demand sites and companies um, you have control. So that's key. I love that. You have control. You can make more products out of your stuff. So, all right. Let's see here. That was question one. So that was, yeah, I was very new to this. I have no idea where to go. Successful. All right. Let's go to this one. This is a good question. Um, I've been writing stories on different genres, writing about life, advice, love, whatsoever, but don't have any confidence to publish it and don't really know how to do it either. So let me just, I'm going to just approve this and this. So um, and then I don't have any question yet. I'm just I'm just not confident enough to publish or sell a book yet. Let me get me one step closer. And let me change my path slowly. So, so my advice to you is there's a couple of questions in here that I would that I'm going to answer. Uh, one is about the genres. Sometimes people say to stay, um, you know, in to pick a genre and stay in that. Um, I'm not a, a huge fan of that. I like to be um, everywhere. Let me see. Oh, I just lost myself. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's back. Um, 
I like to be wherever I like to be. So whatever you like to publish, go ahead and publish it. That's my basic argument. Um, because you have no idea what people are going to like. And so you may think you're a mystery writer, but you also wrote a how-to book. And you discover that your how-to books take off and, and away you go. Um, I've just I've had great luck right now with the with coronavirus and all these every all the kids are at home. I publish geography books, geography and map books. In fact, I have one right here, this book and four other ones, and they are doing very well because everybody's at home and and the kids need to um, need to color and learn geography and do stuff. So you really have no idea what is going to sell. So I recommend just don't let that let yourself go by. Um, one of the things that I'll say about publishing and the confidence is that very often publishing a book is the fulfillment of a dream that you didn't know you had. It can transform your life. So I highly encourage you to push it out there. Um, you know, write your book, get it properly edited and release it. This is print on demand. If something is really wrong in there, you can come back and update it. Nothing is locked in. It isn't like a permanent book when we used to sort of have real books, it was permanent. You can't change that. This you can change. So if something is really veered away, um, you can fix it. And I've had to fix numerous books at different times because I found a big mistake in it. But there's a transformation that comes from um, writing and releasing your book. So I would just encourage you, a simple way to do it might be to set up a simple blog, a Google Blogger blog. Put some of your copy on that. You'll even have the same transformation from just hitting the publish button on a blog that you can have on a book. You can just do it in smaller chunks and you can see how that goes. And you will find that you'll hit that publish button and you'll say, oh, that's what I should have written, but it's a blog. You can go back and edit it. So I just encourage you to start pushing your content out there. Blog is a great place to put it. See how you feel, see what happens. Keep putting more and more and more. See what people like. You know, I always look at the stats on all my blogs. I'm a big person with stats. See where people's interests are. Put up different kinds of copy. So um, I know it's tough. It's one of the hardest things that people do, new authors do, is to push that publish button. And um, uh, it's hard to kind of go, just push that. But I just so much encourage you to do it. You will find a great relief when you do it and you get encouragement in yourself and confidence in yourself. And, um, and you know, and that's why we have editors, editors fix things. You do not have to be perfect. Um, I didn't learn to write until I was 53 and dyslexic. And I discovered because as a graphic designer, I was very familiar with using the power of an editor. You just have to get your stuff on the page and kind of sort of somewhat there, but an editor can come in and fix it. So that's another way of, sort of getting the copy where you would want it to be. So um, I just encourage you to, to keep going and keep pushing it out there and doing it. So, all right, another question. So who pays the best royalties and has a good reputation? Good royalties and good reputation. So this is a big one. This is a question that often comes up um, for new publishers. They really get sort of wigged out about the whole royalties thing. Why is my publisher taking all the royalties? All that kind of stuff. Um, so I think the best the best one really is Amazon. It's the cleanest. It's the cleanest channel, right? To um, to your readers, uh, if you use their ISBN number, it costs. It's free to put up. Um, I generally make oh, like on this book. Pull these back up. This book about two dollars and fifty cents a book, somewhere on there, two fifty to three fifty. If you want more money, then release more books basically. So the royalty question is sort of a, one of those questions of how much am I going to make question, but um, you know, want more money, make more books, raise the price, that kind of thing. It's not, it's, it's part of the process of publishing. It's part of the process of every single product on the planet. There is the, the person who creates it. There's the wholesaler who marks it up. There's the retailer who marks it up after that. Amazon isn't any different. And so um, you just, you have to go with it. And if you want more money, you can do it. Now, what's nice about Amazon is they have an excellent reputation. They pay their bills um, and you can do fine. Just keep doing it and do a variety of products. Try different kinds of books until you find the ones that sell. I have books that sell a thousand copies a year and I have books that sell one copy. I have 50 books right there, right back there. 
And some books sell one copy a year. I put a lot of effort into that book, and it sells one copy a year. Um, and I have books that um, sell a thousand copies a year. So you just don't know what they're going to do. But want more money? Make more books. So hope that answers that. But don't get too hung up on the royalty thing. It's just part of doing business. You know, when you go to a store and buy a salt shaker, there's a royalty. There's a somebody's marking them up and getting the royalties on those too. So, all right. Next question. Let's prove that one. And I'm just uh, putting the people in. All right. How to start? How to start? Where to approach? So start by just writing. Start by writing your book. Um, start by putting it together. Uh, try to have a beginning, middle, and end. There's a lot of books on writing um, that you can find out there. In fact, I have some. Uh, my favorites are in here. Uh, let me see if I can just find them here quickly. They're right. My favorites to sort of do it. But a lot of it is just get going. Um, try to find a regular time of your day if you're working on a book. Um, that you can write, a nice, comfortable area that you write. Um, one of my favorite places, looking for the resources here, um, one of my favorite places to write is on an airplane. I have written a bunch of books on airplanes, flying back and forth across the uh, United States. And um, it's, it's you're confined in a seat. You can't go anywhere. You're confined in a certain uh, piece of time. And... Um, I'm just going to look for my, where's my list here? I know I put them in here of uh, good resources for books. I know they're in here because I wrote them. Um, so that's a place to find. I've written, every library has a, um, why can't I find them at the moment? Um, every library has study rooms. Those are great places to go and write. You can kind of just immerse yourself into, well, it's in, it's in here, I know it is. Um, you can immerse yourself into just the writing. Um, but a lot of it is just getting start, put stuff down on the paper. Don't worry that it's not, oh, here they are. Um, let's see here. So I'll hold that up. So so Bird by Bird by Andy Lamont, The uh, War of Art, any book by Stephen Pressfield is a great book to get yourself started. Um, Stephen King has a pretty famous one on writing, a memoir of the craft. Uh, the Writing Life by Annie Dillard. They're in my, in fact, if you go to my uh, uh, bookpublishingsecrets.com, you can download the checklist in those books are listed right here to kind of get you started. See right there? Um, so you just start to start. You start putting it. Be in the middle end. Figure it out. Um, if you're doing a topic, research a topic. Uh, I guess I pick a time of day that's really good. Pick a space that's comfortable to do it and do something regularly on it. And uh, that's a great way to uh, to get started. Uh, I see Debbie Brady just came by. So that's cool. Thank you. And uh, Steve is here. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, Steve really runs the great Be Live broadcasting like this um, from England. He just does a fantastic job. So that's the how to start is just start. Just put it down. It's a regular time, comfortable place. Pick some kind of target to kind of do every day. Um, if nothing's coming, just, you know, do different things. Uh, some people talk about doing a lot of, do some research, kind of load your brain up, depending on what you're doing. Um, it depends on what kind of book you're doing. And uh, so I guess that's advice. I've just, I break, I have ideas. I keep writing them down and I come up with another book and then another book and whatever I'm doing, I just keep on going. Um, there's plenty of places you will be published doing self-publishing. You will get your book out there. There's nobody to deny you at the moment, um, which is a fantastic thing. It's one of the greatest things that Amazon did is they let us all write and put our books out there. So you can get it published on the other end. It's, you don't have to go out and hunt and look for a publisher. So, All right. So let's go. Next question. And anybody has a question, put them in the comments below. I will um, I veer off of this. And... Um, Okay, how can I publish? What channels should I consider? So remember I said make sure you go to the publishingsecrets.com. And um, in fact, remember this site, and you can just you can watch this and you can see this, right? So it's publishingsecrets.com. You can watch this video in an hour, you're gonna know a huge amount, and then you can download any of those. Um, channels to consider Amazon would be probably my prime channel. Um, that's the main channel. That's where I would focus first. It's the easiest one to get going. It has the biggest 
um, range, has the most customers. It's it's a hugely trusted platform. Um, they, they work in all kinds of countries. They take all kinds of currency. It's very easy to publish. Um, and you can um, uh, just go from there. Ebook, uh, can, uh, ebook, print book, you've got it all covered. Everything is right there. So those are that's the channel. That's the, where I would go first. And uh, there are lots of the other ones like I mentioned earlier, the Lulu and Blurb and, um, you know, have uh, Smashwords. There's a whole slew of them. But uh, Amazon is definitely the first one to go to. That keeps you in the Amazon universe. If you want to be in bookstores, your channel is very much going to be Ingram Spark. That's the channel. Ingram Spark is prints, but they are primarily a distributor to the bookstore and gift store market. So if you have any thought you're going to be want to be in bookstores or that's your goal, I want to be in a bookstore, Ingram Spark is definitely uh, the channel to, to go to. Oh, we have some comments here. Let's see here. We have. So, yes, Bruce, congratulate on the win. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, let's see, what else we have here? Just start. Words of wisdom. Yep, just push that button. Just keep going. Just keep going. Um, that's that's it. You just have to start. I once had, I wrote a book. I was at a conference in San Diego, and um, uh, it was at a conference in San Diego, and I had sort of written this book, Ideas for a Book, um, running back and forth across the United States in an airplane. And uh, I had about six hours to kill before going to the airport. So it was, a, it was the uh, uh, Hard Rock Cafe Hotel in San Diego. So I went down to the uh, – I always bring my notes with me when I'm going to a conference because you often have spare time. So I went down to the, to the cafe part down there, the rest of the uh, copy bar, and uh, I asked them, it says, could I just sit at a table and you just bring me – food and I can just sit at a table and write and I'm going to be here for hours. Is that okay? Could, could you do that? And they were like, yeah, sure. That's fine. And I sat at that table for like five hours and I went through lunch. I think I went through dinner. I just, they just brought me food. I gave them a nice tip when I was done. The place wasn't very crowded because it was kind of midweek or something when this conference was a Sunday maybe. And uh, I just sat there and wrote, wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote at this table, just yellow pad as fast as I could. I had all my notes. I had everything. I had brought it to be prepared. And uh, um, I did. That's what I did. And I sat there and then did some more tweaking on the plane going home. So that's a strategy I use all the time. Um, if I'm going somewhere as I go with prep material to if I have that opportunity, I go and do something. Um, let's see here. I've already had some books resold. By so what? That's all right. Everybody has books resold by others. You know, that's called the used book market or whatever. You don't care. I don't care at all. It's your book is getting out there. Sometimes I make the 250 on royalties. Sometimes I make about 37 cents on royalties. I was I would never have been able to get to that person anyways. So I sold the book to someone who now knows my material, might search me out. Um, I, who cares? Every every piece of clothing in the world is sold by, by you know, others. Um so I don't don't let that get in your way. Your job is to create, to get it designed, publish it, do the marketing, move on to the next one. That's your job. And if somebody's going to resell your book, well, so they like your book. Big deal. Uh, it doesn't make any difference to me where the books get sold. You can make as much money from somebody selling you a nickel. You know, the nickel is the same value as the two dollars and fifty cents. It all adds up into a pile. In fact, let me just show you just to kind of, this is, I'm not complaining. I'm just amused. <laughs> um, this was this month, last month. This is my royalty from, let me see, is this showing up? Yes, it is. This is my royalty from last month. So I've been publishing, release, writing, creating, publishing books for 10 years. I think I started around 2010. And last month was the best month I've ever had um, ever in my books, primarily because of the um, COVID-19. Notice all these geography books in here and some music. People are writing sheet music and coloring in maps right now. And um, so, you know, you just never know. It, it, that's today. You have tomorrow. Just keep going. Just go. That's all you have to do. Just keep creating, publishing, go to the next one. Create, publish, go to the next one. So, um, I don't worry at all about books being resold by by anybody. Um, 
In fact, even there's a new theory. There's a theory that's been around for a little while. Uh, Tim Grail does this on, on people who pirate your book. Make sure in the back of your book, I'm going to get caught here because I didn't do it. Oh, I did. Make sure you have your information for your other books in the back of every book that you have, how people can buy this book. Um, most people don't deal with pirated books, but if they do and they get this, they go, oh, there's other books. They might go to Amazon. Think of it as advertising. Just don't worry about it. Just, again, just write, publish, move on. So that's the goal. Um, link is not publishing. Oh, publishing book secrets. Um, it's on the top of the Facebook page. Here, let me show you. It's right, Tina, right here. Pub, I'm publish, sorry, publishingsecretsbook.com. There it is, publishingsecretsbook.com. It's right here, publishingsecretsbook.com. Publishing Secrets Book, that's it. I'll drop it in the, um, in fact, I'll put it right in the chat. I'll put it in here also. Put this, oops. Ah, ah. Put this right here. This is the uh, internal address for it. But but there it is. Hey, Graham's in the house. Graham from Australia. We have a couple Australian people here. Ah, fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Not complaining. Um not complaining. 2013 for Kindle, 2014 first paperback. I have books. In fact, if I go to my book, there's a 2011. I don't know, but it's the old Create Space. Um, there's a 2011 copyright, and I've only ever published right there. 2011. I've only ever published on Amazon. So I have some that are 2010 back there so uh, i don't know but it was up early i was in there right at the beginning um 2012 on that one um so i don't know i was up there kindle might have been a little later um can't put coloring books on kindle but i had paperback books out really really early so um let's see hi bruce love your whiteboard setup yes graham graham and i so um Right here is my whiteboard setup. So this is a new addition to my broadcasting is um, Graham Reese, who's in the audience. We figured this out. Um, I just pulled one of these this off the wall. It was a, right on board, right over there. And um, we just put it up so I can do drawing and things like that. So just giving it a test run today. All right. Gumroad. Yep, that's me. That's the address. Um, book that I sold. That's fine with me too. Lost Leaders. Yep. Yep. You're getting them out there. And there's many reasons for publishing a book. You might be using that at a conference as a freebie. I just went to a conference um, in February, the ClickFunnels Funnel Hacking Live. There were 5,000 people at this conference, and three of the participants put books on the chairs. That's 5,000 books that somebody brought and put on a chair. Three different people did that. I mean, it's, it was unbelievable the amount of money. And some of them, were, one of them was like this thick. It was huge. That's a marketing purpose. You're giving them to try to gain a customer, especially if you have a lot of back end on your book. You give away your book so that you can get somebody into your world. So love the right, the, yep, yep, the right on, right board setup. Yep, I think it's good. Um, you might be using it as a, basically as a business card. Like this is a coloring book, but if you wrote a how-to book, you know, there's a how-to book, and you're trying to get a copy, um, be a speaker at an event, you can give that book away. So there's lots of different ways. To, it isn't just something that you read. Um, I think I took your course. And is that possible? Yes. I've been doing some kind of courses at, at some different point. Debbie, yeah, uh, you might have. You might have. How do we set Gumroad up? Is it easy? Yes, I love Gumroad. In fact, if you look down the stream, you're going to see I did last week. Was it last week? Uh, yes, last week I did three videos. I made a product by taking a chapter out of this book and turned it into a book in one video. I then took and put it up on Gumroad to show you how to do that. So I go through the whole process, how to create a product. And then the third video is on marketing. If you just look down, you'll find them. And I guess what I'm gonna do is I'll try to pull those videos out. And they're also on my blog. If you go to brucethebookguy.com, in fact, if you go to brucethebookguy.com, oops. You will find them. 
right here to call it easy products. So this was the first one. I created the product. And the second one is uh, selling the product online. That is a whole a video about using Gumroad. And then I'll, I'll get the third video up um, today or tomorrow on the marketing, all my little different marketing tips. So, all right. So let's keep going here. All right, let's uh, do this. All right, next question. So those are the channels. We talked about Amazon as a channel. Ingram Sparks is a channel. Um, then there are other channels. Smashwords is another channel. If you're just staying in the ebook market, um, they distribute to about 80 different sites. They just upload their book and it goes all over the place. Ingram does that too. All right, which channels? Next group, next question. I'm, I am writing a biography. So this is fantastic. You're writing a biography and um, let me just uh, approve these people that I'm approving. So I get keep myself in straight here. So I'm writing a biography. That's fantastic. And um, uh, there's many ways to do that. Just, you know, I, I, my top 10 technique, I talk about picking up pivotal points in your life. You can start at day one. Um, you know, it's a, just keep going. Just keep doing it. Um, I'm a big fan of doing some people will write their books on a blog. So they're public. So they can start to see, get people's reactions to it. Start building that audience. Um, my advice would be start your marketing as the, so, the same time that you are writing your book. Seems a little like, wow, that's a lot of work to have to do that. But you want to start to build your platform. So your platform are all the people that follow you or you are connected to in any way, shape, or form. Start building an email list if you can. Build a community or a Facebook group, a Twitter following. Your platform also includes your friends and families, includes the local media, includes if you're a speaker, maybe anybody who's come to an event or that you speak to. It's your coworkers, it's your company, it's the people around you. These are all going to be people. You want to also look for influencers in your area that might somebody that might be uh, advantageous to you. Connect with them and slowly start to reel them into your world. So like their posts, comment on their posts, be kind to them. Uh, but you're building this platform that when you are done, you now have a platform of people that you can now sell to and market your book to. It's very hard to start that on day one. Um, trying to just, like, you've just finished your book. Now what do you do? That's a pretty common um, to do it. Yeah, a lot of my, a lot of one of my books starts a blog. A lot of people do this. This is a fantastic way to start a book is to put it, start a blog article. But whether you're doing a biography or you're doing another kind of book, building that platform is one of the most useful and uh, things that you're going to be able to do to get your, um, let me come back here. Whoops comments. Um, so you have a market to sell to. You have to be able to sell to somebody. You can't just sort of throw it out there and hope that Amazon isn't going to sell your book. You have to do it, but it takes a while. So you have plenty of time while you're writing to slowly start to build that world. And then tell the journey of your writing your book. Did you go someplace to get some information about the book? You're excited about the book. Show people the studio. Look, you can see my studio right here. Right? Graham's commenting on the on the uh, the right on board so people like to see the behind the scenes we all love seeing the the musicians that are all performing now and all the people being interviewed on the news shows you can see their houses like oh what's what's on that guy's shelf what's there so you can use that as a way of bringing people along on your journey as you write and then when it gets ready to write get ready to release it you have an audience so all right um so biography prove that one i'm just approving the, the questions um that you'll see in here so that people come all right next question is how to publish and where to uh let's go to this one how to publish book cover making copies sell it again um go pick up my my book go pick up this book um publishing secrets book i kind of make sure i get the right address here um Uh, publishingsecretsbook.com, and um, that will tell you most of that. But basically, you're going to have to make some different parts. So every book that goes up on Amazon or ever has an interior part. That's the pages. That has to be made. And then the cover part. So two files, whether it's an ebook or a print book, is going to be two files, interior stuff and the cover. On a print book, it's going to be front cover, spine, back cover. On an ebook, it's going to be just the front cover. Um, 
where to sell it, sell it to Amazon. So that's the easiest place to do it. Um, it's free. You can put it up. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, it's a great place to, to do it. All right. That's, hope, I know it's a short answer. Uh, most of it's in my book, and I'm sort of cover it here or ask the questions in the group. It's, a, it's one of those big, big, big questions. Um, all right. Best marketing strategies. So this is a this is a common one that people ask about, and um, we covered a little bit of this in that video last week. But I'm just gonna um, just actually I'm gonna show you my best marketing strategy. This will be my best, the thing that I like the most. I did read this list, and it's in the um, in fact if you download you you pick this up. This I'm now including this, and in on page 54 right there is my quick list, and then it goes into more detail. And there's also the whole launch strategy. But I'm going to give you, show you my my favorite technique. And it's actually what I've been working on over the last week, like a crazy person. And let me bring that up. So let's get this up here and go to this. So my favorite strategy for marketing is to use your content to sell your content. And what I mean by that is taking the content of your book, putting it on a website or a blog, and then wrap ads around it to sell the content that's on the website. Take the content and break it up into lots of little pieces and um, use it for Google juice, right? Google will see that. People ask questions and they will Google will bring people to your site. And if there's an ad sitting there, then they might buy it. So what do I mean by that? So this site, this this is this is the site that looks crappy. I will clearly omit that. But it's a site that gets about 55,000 people a month that comes to the site. has a lot of traffic. And it's based on the maps from these books. So before there were these books, there I had clip art maps. And I still have that. that sold for uh, business marketing purposes, sold for education, sold for nonprofits, maps that people can use and customize. Out of that came a book, all these coloring books. So I repurposed the artwork that I sold as clip art into coloring books. That has become very successful for me. I sell, this is my most successful one, a thousand, over a thousand copies a year of this book right here. I took every one of those maps and I put them on this website called freeusandworldmaps.com. And on the side, you'll notice I have an ad for the book. And if you click on this cover, it goes to Gumroad to download the book. I sell a PDF version of the book. You can also buy it at Amazon. And here it goes there. Just by clicking on either the cover or a button, it takes you to a place to buy the book. Google brings 55,000 people a month to this site. This has been up for quite a long time. And, um, and then I use it to sell books. I also use it to sell clip art and other things. But books right now is one of the main things that's that's going on in this site. And it's, it's where all this traffic is all this traffic is coming from. Um, so that's my main one. I have three of these sites. I also do this with my music books. So I wrote a book on chords, how to central chords, guitar, mandolin, ukulele, guitar, mandolin, ukulele, and banjo. I documented the, my journey of learning those instruments. And then I took the pages from the book and took them out and put them on this site. It's just a simple website. In fact, I only have one design in my, because I don't know how to do much. I learned how to do this off of YouTube. I read, there was a little series of videos on how to make a website. I do this in Dreamweaver. I don't recommend everybody do it this way. You have free sites, Wix, Weebly. There's a Google one. However you do it, get your content up on online. You can do it on a blog is another great way to do it. You just get the stuff out there so Google can see it. I post the pictures because it's a graphic kind of book. I put descriptions, and then I put my books down the side. This site also has a bookstore on it, but primarily it's Google brings people here, and then there's an ad, and then go buy it. So use your content. Here's another one that I do it with. I sell antique maps, right? And here are the ads for those maps. And I took every map in the collection and posted it. So question people ask me is aren't you worried about you know people um, stealing your stuff or not paying for it you're working with percentages so I figure it's the same as direct mail you're getting one to two percent of people who will buy this book 
Um, most people aren't, but you want to reward them with the question that they had. In this case, uh, bar chords. How do I do the bar chords? So here's a little graphic about it. Most people, 99 people, are not going to buy this book, but one might, or one probably will. Um, it's sort of, out of every 100 or 200 people that come to your site, if you give them a clear path, they will buy. And even crappy, ugly sites like this um, will get sales. This generates a lot of sales because um, people are just looking for information. I set up a bookstore. I set up each book with a page. I did a little video about the book. I have buttons right here. This is what I've been doing this week. In fact, I just finished this before I did this broadcast. Buy at Amazon, buy a PDF book, sell it in a variety of formats. The buy a PDF book comes over here. The question, remember, we we're working about royalties. So this book is $5. So I'm making twice the royalties on this that I'm making on Amazon. People want things in different ways. So you need to give them all the different channels. Um, I describe it. There's a little table of contents, examples. I can do more on this site than I can on Amazon, but I sell on both platforms. This is my number one favorite strategy is figure out how to get your book. If you're doing a... Um, a self-help book or anything, you can break that book into lots of little pieces and post it. it. Gives you a sense, a chance to put a different headline on it. It also lets you know um, what is the most popular part of your book. You do not, you do not know in this book what do people want the most. You know, you have no idea because they're buying the entire book. I actually know what people want the most. They want this page right here. These maps. These are, this is the highest trafficked page on this site. They wanted some world maps. I dropped an ad at the top for world maps. So they're coming here and then they go. All right, I hope that makes sense. Uh, that's my number one marketing tip is to, is to do that. You need to do all the other stuff, build your community, get your list, do all the kind of things, but you, people have to find your content. Think of, think of it like a bookstore. You need to, um, you know, you need, you're basically building a bookstore online that people can come, you know, we used to just go to bookstores. Remember when we were bookstores? We'd walk through the bookstore. You're walking by thousands of books that you're never even looking at to get to that one history book or that romance book that you're going to. But you had to be in the building to get to that, to get to your book. But you walked by thousands and thousands of books that you never even looked at. You have to be in the building. You have to be somewhere that people can find you. All right. Next question. Uh, best marketing promotion tactics? Well, I think I'll just combine it with what I just did. Um, you need to be sort of constant, putting things out all the time. Be as inventive as you possibly can. In fact, now, today, right today with the, with the uh, coronavirus, you have an opportunity to be enormously creative because everybody's going online. Everybody's doing Zoom calls. The resistance to video is dropping. So whatever your book is, you're doing a cooking book, do a cooking show. You're doing, I did a show the other day where I took some maps from here and I colored them. That's how you use these maps. Um, if you're doing a woodworking book, do the woodworking. Show you doing stuff. That would be my uh, a good marketing promotion tactic is show your book in practical applications, uh, whatever it is. The romance book, well, maybe you set your book in Tuscany and you can go online and talk about Italy. Uh, with, you know, poor Italy, let's, you know, Northern Scotland or something. You can show um, pictures. You can show the events that go on there. You can talk about it, build an environment, build a world around your book. All easy things to do because you can broadcast through Facebook Live. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, you can do Zoom calls with your people that are, that are in your circle. Build that community so that you can talk to them. So, um, all right, book formatting. How to format a book, formatting and marketing. So you can do this technical detail. So you can find a local graphic designer. That's what I did for a long time. I'm a graphic designer. I talk about some of that stuff in this book, but I don't go into put this here, put that there, but I tell you the basic specs things. Um, Fiverr is a very common site, F-I-V-E-R-R, Fiverr.com for freelance. And they recently um, reorganized their site around different areas. So one of those areas is book publishing. They kind of put all the people that do stuff with book publishing in one in one place. So that's um, 
a good, great place to go. 99 Designs is a great place to go. Check with your local college. They often have a, uh, a job board. They all have graphic design departments. There's always somebody who wants to do that. Um, Google graphic designers in your area. Those all can help. Or learn InDesign, which is what I use. Um, you can do books in Word. So just keep it simple. Keep it straight. Look at what other people are doing and try to try to mimic it. And this is my last question. I'm just 10 years old. So um, in fact, the question was, I'm just 10 years old. I've been at, it's been a while. I've been writing storybooks publishers. So anybody can do this. Um, you, any age can do it. In fact, I, I had a question recently, I think it was in the last uh, broadcast or something, was about um, a high school student, you know, learning to, to want to publish a book. But what I've seen is the kids that actually do it the most are elementary school kids, 10, 11, 12. Um, they are publishing books all the time. There's no limit on it. And I highly encourage you. I think every student from high school and college should be a published author. Um, you're doing this stuff anyways. You're writing the articles. They can all be pulled together and create a book out of it. It's free to publish. Um, all you need is Microsoft Word, or you can do it in PowerPoint. You can do it in Google Docs. You can do it. Uh, I use InDesign. You do not, the tools are basically probably already on your computer. Um, if you use Google Docs, you can write the book. Make sure your image is a 300 dots per inch. You can go to canva.com and make a cover, or your, your parents can make a cover. It's not hard to do. And they also have Cover Creator, Kindle, ebook, and print. Both have the cover creator option, so you can just do it online. It may not be as, as fancy schmancy as you might get from a designer, but it's free and it's adequate and it will, will work fine. It'll get you published and get you excited about publishing. So uh, we are in a great moment right now where everybody's at home. They're doing homeschool stuff. They're doing all kinds of stuff. This is a great moment to be uh, creating a, a children's book, a storybook, a picture book, a how-to book, a book of poems that you're doing being home, stuck in your house, whatever it is, a coloring book, do your drawings, scan the drawings, throw them into a, into a, a file, a book, and create a coloring book. Um, you will get the same feeling from publishing a coloring book as you will your novel, right? It's a, it can be transformative. It can open you up to a way of doing things and make money. You can make money out and sell these things. How cool is it to be able to come back to school and go, oh, I'm a published author and I'm 11 years old. Um, so I think this is a great question. It's a great place to uh, to do it. Let me look at any, let's see what we have for questions here. Uh, yes, I'm proof that ugly sells. Uh, yes, proof that ugly sells. Uh, you can't get more ugly than these websites that I have done because I'm not really a web person. I've designed them, but I don't know how to code and do all that stuff. And um, uh, it's just, yes, ugly sells, but it probably would sell way more if I got it way better and spent some time on it and did fancier. I have fancier websites that I have a web guy that does it and I sell the same products uh, on other sites, but this one I do myself and I use a host gator as my account and it costs about $8 a month to host all of these little crappy sites. But um, Google seems to really like them. This site gets about 8,000. Uh, I don't know what, I think this is, I haven't looked at the stats on this one, but uh, this is 55,000 people come to this site, this ugly, crappy site um, every month to buy something. Um, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, Tina, everyone can do this with their marketing. Brilliant. Yes. Yes. All kinds of events. Do things. Do things. Just get online. This is, this is the era. This is, we are at the beginning of a huge change in um, using these tools, and many of you are already using these tools to promote and market your content. Um, show people what you do, build that community. So uh, show and tell, yep, yep. I don't know, maybe you're doing a book on uh, plants. You can just have all the plants. You're doing a cookbook, show people cooking. You know, it doesn't, it's free. So what I tell people is there are five gatekeepers that, that I've been affected by that that were in my way and are in your way, and those guys are gone. They are broadcasting, publishing, marketing, advertising, and distribution manufacturing. So what does that mean? So broadcasting is you have YouTube and this. This is free, other than the web service that I have on my cable. Um, can you imagine doing this uh, 10 years ago or even whatever? 
you can to do a broadcast to the world. YouTube is to the this is streaming to Facebook and streaming to YouTube at the same time. I'm using StreamYard, and um, so I'm broadcasting to the entire planet for basically zero dollars. So I mean, yeah, take advantage of that. You have three billion customers out there, and an enormous number of them all came back online. Um, with my marketing book, here's just to give you a little sense. My I, the market one of the markets I sell to is the homeschool market, right? This is the homeschool market, and um, I have about 1.6 million homeschoolers in the United States. There are now 50 million overnight, 50 million um, homeschoolers in the United States. So that's a lot of people, right? And when we come out of the other side of this, everybody's going to be accustomed to this. It's a whole new way. We're at the very beginning of an entire transformation. So broadcasting is YouTube and Twitch. I see somebody down here wrote, uh, do Twitch. Okay, so that's another streaming service that the video players do. Publishing used to cost a lot. You had to get an agent. You could never get published. Now we have print on demand with Amazon and all the other services. Um, yeah, there's another person doing Twitch. Look at that. Um, what do we have here? I know how to do a couple of captive videos. Um, okay, marketing. So that's um, social media, right? That's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's Pinterest. If you do not forget Pinterest. Pinterest is an enormous amount of traffic. Everybody's home right now. Everybody's looking for things to do. Get your content out there. Um, build an audience. So that's marketing. Advertising, that's Facebook ads, that's, um, that's Instagram ads. I don't do any advertising on my books. I use those websites. They cost me $8 a month for all of them, right? So that's my advertising. It's just me sitting here coding that stuff. I could use a Wix site, a Weebly site, you know, whatever. Um, print on demand. I have no inventory. None of these things have inventory. So when an order gets placed, the book gets printed. This book gets printed. Um, oops. Oops, oops, oops. Let me just undo. Have to do, yeah. I um, where's the 10-year-old one? I can't find it. I can't find it. Um, here, we'll do this. We'll just come to here. Anyways, I was just trying to get rid of that, but I can't figure out how to do it. Um, yeah, Pinterest builds boards and puts your covers on. So what was I going to say? This, um, I can't remember this. But anyway, oh, marketing. So this, I have no inventory. I don't put these anywhere, right? This is just made one off when the order gets placed. So um, that's, uh, you know, that's a enormous advantage that you, I don't have to have a warehouse with anything. I don't have to ship anything. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to collect the money. I don't have to do anything other than make the product. Um, so that's amazing. And it's not just books. It can be T-shirts, hats, mugs, Frisbees, clocks, iPhone cases, anything you want. I've taken from my music books, I take the art out, and I've made a whole line of products. You can be in the t-shirt business tomorrow with an entire line of products for $0, all right? So then you just start marketing. Like, what can I do and how can I market it? So um, enormously powerful uh, things that are going on. And what's happening with this change right now is the resistance any resistance to going online and doing video is melting away, whether people are watching, participating, or doing, we're all gonna be doing this. So it's a fantastic, out of a tragedy is gonna come a lot of um, amazing things that are gonna come, so. All right, so that's my questions. Remember down below, give comments, um, do a like, likes, do a share if you're on uh, YouTube, share the thing or share this on Facebook, share it on YouTube, do a likes on YouTube, subscribe to my account if you're on YouTube, um, blast this out and uh, that's it. We'll do another one soon, another Q&A and I'm supposed to be doing some training so on for everybody. So I'll be working on that too now that I've finished updating my site and taking advantage and getting all that stuff done. So uh, I think we are done with the questions and uh, we will see you next time. All right, be safe everybody. Talk soon, bye-bye.